I'm Peter Borland. I'm the editorial director at Atria Books, and I'm here to talk about Ruth's Journey, the story of Mammy from Gone with the Wind, which Atria will be publishing in October 2014. Donald McCaig, the author, is um, a wonderful, acclaimed, prize-winning writer of historical fiction, and um, he also he wrote Rhett Butler's People, which was a sequel to Gone with the Wind that the Mitchell Estate authorized, published in 2008. This is a book that has a lot of meaning uh, for me personally, and I think for a lot of people out in the world, too. I remember very clearly um, when I was probably 11 or 12 years old, um, being uh, in the den in the house where I grew up, and up high on the shelf was this copy of Gone with the Wind. This was uh, my mother's copy of the book, first published in 1936. And it was dauntingly huge, but it already had a sort of aura around it for me. And I knew this was a book that people talked about and people read. I grew up in Virginia, where this was sort of a sacred text in some ways. Um, and I pulled it down, opened it, read the first few paragraphs, and I was hooked. And I sat and read over a few days all of Gone with the Wind. And I've spoken to so many people who have had a very similar experience. It's a book they encounter at a, at a young age, and it comes to mean a lot to them. Um, what's interesting about Gone with the Wind is if you come back to it as an adult and read it again, it's still an extraordinary piece of storytelling. Um, but it's also, in some ways, a problematic book, especially in the way that the black characters are depicted. Um, things that you don't really notice because you're so swept away by the story when you're a young person leap out at you as an adult. What's surprising about Ruth's journey is uh, the, the very nuanced portrait of Mammy that comes out in this book, um, in part due to Hattie McDaniel's incredible Oscar-winning performance in the film, Gone with the Wind. People have a very defined notion of, of Mammy. Um, what comes out of this book is sort of the, the whole person. Um, she's not seen simply as the caretaker of three generations of O'Hara women. Um, she has her own story, independent of them. She has a great love affair that ends tragically. Um, she has uh, a childhood story that intersects with that of Scarlett's grandmother. Um, she wasn't born in Georgia. She came from Haiti. Um, there's uh, sort of a, a sweep to it that people, I think, will find very interesting. And her story, in many ways, mirrors that long sweep of, of American history um, as the South is um, uh, sort of marching inexorably towards, towards war. Um, there's Mammy, witness to all of these events, um, but from a very personal vantage point.